Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the vlog. I hope you guys are all doing very well. My name is Jenna for anyone who is new here. Today's Thursday and I'm gonna do a couple of days in my life. We have a workout class this morning. I also have a doctor's appointment, so I'm gonna put this sweater over my workout set, go to the doctor, and then I have a workout class afterwards. I just took like a half day, like mental day slash I'm going to a doctor's appointment, so it's like half day sick day slash mental health because we're working out kind of thing. Um, so I have the class, but as you guys can see, this bra is super flattering and I love this color and the leggings have like this scrunch detail. However, we can kind of tell that we're a little bit like bursting <laughs> and I'm like, this better not cause any wardrobe malfunctions. I don't think it will because it feels very secure, but I'm like, of course, this is the one that I will be wearing. So, um, but I do like the fit and the material of this workout set and the color is also really cute. It's like this gray beige, kind of similar to my Athleta one. And then I'm just gonna keep, well first I'm gonna put this sweater over obviously my outfit. It's gonna be 50 degrees today, so I don't know if I'm gonna bring like a full on jacket. I think I'm just gonna wear a trench coat because it's raining. So I'll put this on over the set and I'll drape it over my shoulders when I'm there before we start working out. And then what else? Then I have my work clothes in my tote bag. So I'm gonna switch into this sweater with a blazer over the top for work. But well, welcome back to the channel, you guys. I hope that you guys have been enjoying all the videos and make sure you subscribe if you have not already. One more thing I wanted to show you guys is this arrangement because at the end of last vlog, I didn't really explain because I forgot that I was going to an event at Jules Aficionado. And so basically it's a watch company, but now they're kind of tapping into the feminine side of the jewelry industry. So they're kind of, you know, coming into this new market. And so they had an event and it was right down the street from my office. So I got to go during my lunch break and I got this beautiful arrangement. There was a wonderful woman, Miriam, that was making the flower arrangements and she was so sweet. She's actually gonna be at Rosecrans in West Village on Sunday and I like actually wanna pay her a visit because this is stunning. She did such a perfect job and it even looks nice in the vase because the way that she arranged it, it was so that I can like cradle the flowers and carry them around for the rest of the day. But it looks stunning, like it's this wildflower kind of look. And honestly, I am someone that like needs flowers in the winter time because even though this is very spring, it just cheers me up a little bit, especially when we have like a super dark, gloomy day like we do right now. So, new flower arrangements. The peonies also never opened, so if anyone has any tips on that, let me know. She was telling me that sometimes there is a coating on the actual flower if they pick them too early because normally ants will eat it. And so she told me to dip it in warm water, but when I came back, they were like dried up and shriveled up. <laughs> so we have these instead, which are 10 times better than the arrangement that I made. And I am looking forward to just like staring at them all day when I'm working from home. So I'm gonna finish getting dressed. I'm gonna throw on the sweater, a trench coat, and then I think I'm gonna wear my new balances that have the green end on them just cause it's like, I don't know, I feel like it looks nice with the set. I have beige new balances, but I think they're gonna blend a little bit. So. We're gonna put those on and then I am gonna get on the subway and I think I'm gonna leave like, I'm gonna give myself a 10 minute buffer because I went to a workout class with Athleta a couple weeks ago. No, a couple weeks ago, it was a couple months ago. And I thought I was gonna be late. It was this huge thing and there were so many people there, but I thought it was gonna be like this small like private class and I thought I was gonna be the only one late. So I like rushed there, was in so much traffic. And so I'm excited to just take the subway and know exactly when I'm gonna get there, but I'm also gonna give myself a buffer just in case. And if Jack's Coffee, oh, that was the other thing. So I'm like talking about going to Jack's Coffee, but at the same time this morning, or yesterday, I was like drinking my coffee from St. Ambrose, and I was like, I kind of like could throw this out right now. Like, I don't know what's happening, but this has happened maybe twice in my life, and I just don't feel like having a coffee today. So those words probably won't come out of my own mouth often, so, Glad you guys are here to hear them. <laughs> um, but I don't know. Jack's Coffee is in Tribeca, but I don't know how close it is to the actual place. So we'll see if I have extra time to walk there, but it is also raining. So I'm gonna grab my umbrella and we'll see what happens. Tell the people where you are. 
We're here with Home on My Limit <laughs> at Dog Pound. Here Just did a little workout in this pizza that I showed you this morning. <laughs> that I already showed you. My reward. <laughs> you guys, the things that I do are so questionable sometimes. I was walking probably like only five minutes into my walk from going to the subway after the workout event and I'm like going to pull out my camera to vlog and it's not in my bag because I left it there. So I just hiked my butt back to the dog pound. I was like, oh, did anyone find a vlogging camera? Guess where it was? On the coffee bar. So on brand, but like kind of annoyed <laughs> at myself. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. I feel like I didn't, oh well, no, I definitely didn't pick up the camera after going to the workout class yesterday, but it was a very hard workout. Safe to say my entire body is very sore, but I did get up and go to the gym this morning and I just did 12, 3.30 as my third workout day of the week. But honestly, if I get up tomorrow morning early enough or if I have like time throughout the day, I'll definitely do that again because it's very manageable and I get a good like sweat with it. So I don't think this headband is gonna work. This looks absurd. <laughs> but this was one of the items that was in the gift bag from the workout class. So it's this little headband. We also got a sweat towel, which was really cute. A water bottle, which I definitely will need, especially one that's like very minimal <laughs> as this one is. And then the last thing was this sweatshirt that I was crazed over. And it's this cream color with green writing on it with this design. And it says St. Bart's, but I've never been there before. And Polly has this rule that you should only wear t-shirts or graphic whatever from places that you've actually been to. <laughs> and I'm like, girls are a little bit different. We like to just look at the design and if we like the colors, we'll wear it. But for them, it's like, oh, if they go to a certain bar when they go on a trip or I don't know, like vacations and stuff. But yeah, so I thought that this was super cute. I'll link this for you guys. In addition to the set that I wore yesterday, an update, my sports bra was actually very secure. I don't know if I would choose that style again just because I do like a little bit more like coverage but it was very flattering and it was definitely like secure for the workout that we were doing and we did like cardio, boxing, uh, what else, like a circuit workout and then we had like a booty section. So um, yeah, that worked out well but I think I might order some more stuff from the collection because everyone's outfits were so cute and I loved the different sets and silhouettes that they had and the material did not show sweat. So. Halfway through, I was like kind of getting nervous because I had that cream set on and I was definitely sweating. And some other people had like olive green or navy or black and like no one's sweat was showing and I know that we all were because our faces were like glistening. Um, but anyway, so that was really fun. I had a regular work day and then came home last night and did some editing. And then today, I didn't even notice that this tag is still on here. Um, today, I'm going to a spray tan with Tan Lux before work. So I'm headed up to Soho this morning. It's 8.20 and I have to leave here in like five minutes, but I wanted to show you my outfit beforehand. We're wearing all black and this sweatshirt I just got new in from Brunette the Label, which I actually haven't gotten an order from them in a while, but I love their stuff. I love the messages and I love that they just have these like super, you know, neutral sweatshirts that are good with anything. So I'm actually wearing them with Aritzia joggers or I'm wearing it with Aritzia joggers so that just goes to show you can like wear their colors or like if you want to get black and you already have black joggers or black sweatshorts then you could just pair one of their tops or one of their sweatshirts with something that you already have so this is the kindness club one and yeah so I have this on gray socks because I didn't want to wear my white ones and then I was wearing my New Balance 2002 R's on the treadmill this morning and they're so comfortable that I want to wear them for the rest of the day, but it's a gloomy day outside in New York today. So I think we're gonna have to wear like my cream ones or other ones that I can get a little messy just in case. But I'm gonna grab a little tote bag and then we're gonna head out.
because I'm just realizing that I actually came to this restaurant once and it's stunning inside. It's like definitely something that you need to like treat yourself with. They have these like little tents that have like fur coverings on the chairs here. Um, but we did, it was me, my friend Christina and Jenna and we had a little girl dinner inside this like kind of windowed in restaurant. It was so stunning. So if you guys are looking to like treat yourself when you come to New York one time, 23 grand is a really nice place to go to. But this entire hotel is like stunning. Now or never is this coffee shop that is right across the street. And I went here with Steph Rogo one time and I'm trying so hard not to go, but it's like right on the edge of Soho and I'm never over here. So I'm like, should I just get it? Is it now or never? That was such a dad joke. <laughs> so I just got out of my appointment. That was so easy, so quick. It's actually 9.01. My appointment, oh, I need to catch this light. Okay, that was stressful. Um, but I just had my appointment, finished in like probably 10 minutes. It was so quick. So they basically just like spray, or I'll like fully explain the process. But the tan lux tans do not smell at all. Like. You know that like gross kind of like fake tan smell? I kind of feel like, I don't know, there's not like fragrance in it, but it just doesn't smell gross. So I'm heading home now. I'm gonna skip a coffee, because honestly I don't really feel like drinking it still. And I'm gonna head home and start work. Okay, this looks pretty sloppy, but I have been back from my spray tan for a while now and it's my lunch break. I had a meeting at one o'clock, which is normally when I take lunch, but it got pushed to 1.30. So I figured I would show you guys a couple of things that I'm trying to get done in the next like 15 minutes. One of them is styling this outfit for French Connection. So I'm gonna go and shoot with Sammy and Avery and I think Hathel tomorrow, who I haven't seen in so long. So I'm excited to go with everyone and we're gonna meet in Soho. And this is the outfit. So I am so in love with the material of the pants. They are so like buttery soft, but since they're ribbed, I feel like they look super elevated. This is something you can definitely wear with sneakers. I think I might put loafers with it. I'm gonna go grab them and see what it looks like. But sneakers, loafers, if you wanna wear them in the summer, if you wanna wear the set in the summer with like a cute little pair of mules, I feel like that would also be cute. Or like a beach set. Um, but the top is long sleeve, so just to note that. But you could definitely do the pants with a linen shirt or something like that. And then this trench, I've been watching Mad Men for like the past year and a half. We've been trying to get through it. And it reminds me so much of the Mad Men style with the um, like plaid pattern detail, these tortoise double-breasted buttons. I think this is stunning if you're looking for a trench coat but not a traditional trench or something that's gonna speak a little bit more in the outfit especially since a lot of like base layers and stuff can be very plain I love this with the cream but you could also do like denim and a gray sweater if it's still pretty chilly out you can do a workout set underneath this and a pair of sneakers so a really versatile piece and I love these colors moving through it so this cream is gonna coordinate very well so let me go grab the accessories and see what we can do here Okay, this isn't dirt on the floor. They're just like marks on the wood, but these are the loafers that I want to wear the little Zara Penny loafers with the fringe. I think it goes really well with the style of the trench coat And then I'm gonna try to find some Pinterest inspiration for this bag But I feel like because the trench is pretty oversized. I did get it in a large which <laughs> I Probably should have done that. I think a medium would have been fine But I feel like the bigger bag gives a very like the row kind of feel to the outfit but I also might do my Arquette bag, so that's the final decision that I have to Good make. Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday from my half line lips. <laughs> I am just finishing up getting ready. We're about to go to Bedford Studio in West Village, which is actually where I had the best pumpkin spice latte of my life, which I've only been there once, and we were talking, actually maybe twice, but when we went, Avery and Hazel and I were talking about how amazing it was and that we need to go back. And we've never been back, so I'm excited to go this morning. We're gonna have a couple of cough, cough trees, <laughs> coffees and pastries for breakfast. And then I am gonna head down to Soho to meet Hathel, Avery, and Sammy. So lots to do this morning, and I'll show you guys my outfit in a second, but this is the new Mario, Makeup by Mario lipstick. Where is my 
thing. Come on. So it's like a cross between my really nude one and my Charlotte Tilbury, and I think this color is gonna look really nice. It's a little less pink than the rose ink one. So this is the outfit. We have full French connection, this like white ribbed set that I showed you guys yesterday, and the plaid trench. Everything fits really nicely, and the quality is so, so amazing. And it's super soft. I feel really comfy, basically like I'm leaving the house in my pajamas. So I need to get one more handbag and put it in my huge bag, and then we're gonna get on the subway to go to West Village. Soho and I feel like I was a little bit rushed with showing the first outfit of the day. So we've got a Bedford coffee. This is butterscot no, what is this? Cookie butter cold brew. And I barely got any milk in it and it tastes amazing and most of the syrup is still at the bottom. Um, but this is the first outfit. I have my Heaven Mayhem earrings on that I wear pretty much non-stop. Coach outlet watch. This is like the best thing I've ever gotten as a gift <laughs> um, and then the stairs behind me this is the cream set with the trench and then I ended up doing my whole line bag because the branding is pretty minimal on it and then little black loafers which I told you guys about yesterday so we're gonna change into the second outfit the girls are right there behind me with that random man <laughs> and we're gonna get one more done and then I'm gonna head back down to my apartment and get some editing and all that fun stuff done. So, cheers, happy Saturday everyone. And yep, that's the fit. We've got outfit number two on with the naked fashion, whatever this is. I call it my straight jacket because it kind of looks like one because it's so oversized. And then I accidentally forgot my other shoes which were supposed to be riding boots, but we have loafers instead. And I think it actually looks cute with the leggings. I kind of wish I had like stirrup leggings though, so maybe I'll buy some of those today. Yeah. Do you guys know where I could get stirrup leggings? Now I have a fixation. Morning guys, welcome to yet another gloomy day. Today's Sunday and we woke up and did our little routine for Sunday morning. So we had church at 10.30 and then we went to Fiat Cafe afterwards. Food was amazing as per usual. I actually didn't finish my sandwich, but we walked around in Soho a little bit afterwards and stopped at a couple of stores and now I'm hungry again, so I'm gonna eat the other half. But I actually have some things to show you guys. One package came in yesterday, but I'm gonna show you my Adenola set first because I showed you this, I think it was two, or maybe it was the last vlog, but I was saying that I bought this at like 5 a.m. because the um, sweatshirt came back in stock in one size which was a medium and that's the one that I have and I just checked the other day I got an email saying the extra large was back in stock and that's the one that I originally wanted and the entire set is restocked so hopefully it is by the time I put up this video I'm gonna try to edit it and put it up for this evening or tomorrow morning which would be Monday morning but this is the color two things first of all the medium fits plenty well, I normally get an extra large because I think that they're going to shrink a little bit, but this is definitely oversized enough, and then if I wash it a couple times, it might shrink a tiny bit, but will still look nice with the size small joggers. So the size is good. The only thing that I'm trying to, I guess, like adjust to is the color because on the website, and I'll insert a photo of the set here from the website, it looks a little bit more of a pinkier beige tone, whereas this is very much like neutral and cool tone beige, but I think I just like separately also really love this color. I just was expecting something else. So when this came and I was like, oh, this looks a little bit different and I always open my packages at night after work. So I was like, let me just see what it looks like in the natural light. And it definitely is this like clay beige color, but in the product photos, it looks a little bit more of a warmer tone, but I actually really love this and I do like the combination of the navy and this color together. So I think it's a win. We're definitely gonna keep this and I already have it on, so <laughs> we've decided. And then 
The package that came yesterday that I completely forgot about was the Mary Phillips Lancome collaboration. So if you guys don't know who Mary Phillips is, she does like Kendall Jenner's makeup. I think she also does Hailey Bieber's from time to time. So this is what she looks like, not that it matters, I guess, but she's just very talented at makeup. She actually was the person that influenced me to get the Westman Atelier blush, which is one of my favorite of all time. I'm actually wearing it right now. And so this is a collection that she curated with Lancome. So, <laughs> I mean, something that I just want to mention first is that there's a juicy tube in here. And this blows my mind if anyone is probably, I guess, around my age or older, you would remember a juicy tube, but they were like the stickiest. And I actually want to try this to see if the formula has changed at all. But it's like a clear, thick gloss. And the great thing about these is that they actually stay on for a while, so you don't have to reapply over and over again, which is nice. Um, but I just thought that was funny because it was kind of like my childhood memory in a box. <laughs> so then we also have some minis of their Defense Sunscreen, which is going to be really good because I have a bachelorette coming up in April, which feels... It felt super far away, but now that it's like almost February because January flew by, it's like coming up very soon. Um, and then I also got the mascara, which my, coincidentally, my um, L'Oreal mascara is running out right now. So I'm going to try this before I buy a new one of that. And that's a lot to say because I normally ignore every other mascara, but because it's just the timing of it, I'm going to try this out and I'll let you guys know how it is. And then we just have a concealer. Um, their Care and Glow face, um, like foundation, and that also has SPF in it. And then they also put in a serum in here, which I have not tried Lancome skincare, but I've heard amazing things about this product specifically, so I'm excited to incorporate this into my routine. So that is the Lancome box. Also, just this packaging is, you know, black and white, stunning. Okay, last thing are the coffee sleeves that we just picked up and I wanted to mention both because this is the double espresso Chiaro that I normally make a coffee with. I think it's an, oh, it's an eight intensity. I thought it was a seven. And I always put this over ice with milk and like sometimes syrup if I'm feeling it. But this is like my tried and true OG, used it and have probably brought like 10 sleeves myself. So we got two more of these and then I wanted to try their iced coffee. So I'm a little bit confused about how this works because I asked her, I was like, I want to try your iced coffee, but I'm a little bit confused. Like, does the machine spit out cold water? Like, does it know that it's this specific type of pod? But I don't think that the coffee machine is that smart, to be honest. So there's two different types. There's the ice forte, and I can't remember the name of the other one. Um, and one brews super concentrated, and that's the one I didn't go with. And then the other one is just like a regular iced coffee, and you, she said you just throw ice in it and you're good to go. So I figured this would be a good one to try because I'm always making iced coffees or like iced lattes. So I want to see how the iced coffee is at home. And this one said that it had like roasty notes to it, whereas the more concentrated one was fruity. So I wanted to go with this one. So I think I'm gonna make this later today. I didn't have a coffee this morning, surprisingly and I wanna have my sandwich first and I'll try that out with you guys and let you know my thoughts and how it goes because that'll be the first time that I'm making a nice coffee at home without like doing the whole latte situation. I put a hair mask in a little while ago because I think the only other thing we're doing today is going down to the gym and watching football. So perfect instance for me to just throw something in. I always forget to and I usually only do it when I'm wearing a slick back bun, but not doing anything today. And I don't think that we're shooting tomorrow morning, but if we were, I would wash my hair again because it's definitely past the point of being able to keep it down. But I just made the brand new iced coffee. I already took a sip, so I'll let you guys know in a second, but I also wanted to just mention this huge bag, because as you saw, I did have to empty out the little side 
pocket that holds all of your old pods and Nespresso sends these, I think inside the mail if you order, they'll send you a couple of these bags depending on how many pods you've ordered, but they also have them in the store and you basically just recycle your pods into here and you bring it to the store and they'll dispose of them for you, which is very nice and sustainable, which I love. Um, this coffee, definitely, it has that roasty taste to it. I actually put hazelnut syrup in the bottom, just a capful to make it a little bit sweeter because I figured it would be roasty, but it kind of reminds me of like bagel shop coffee in the best way possible. I made it with just half and half because when it brewed, it kind of went all the way up to like here. I thought it was gonna overflow and it ended up being fine, but there was a lot of foam in it. So once that kind of went away, I was able to put ice in it and then I had a little bit of space for milk. So the half and half helped to lighten the color a good amount but this is actually really good and a nice alternative to me making a latte because I feel like that's the only thing I drink and this is a little bit more roasty with like the flavor so really nice love this I don't know what strength of the pod it is um, but I don't know what the strength of the coffee is this is not bright sleeve where did I put it so this one it doesn't say, which I think is kind of strange because usually they'll have it like on the side of the box and it tells you how strong it is, I think on a scale of one to 10. And this one doesn't say, so let's hope there's even caffeine in it. Not that I really need it because we've been going yesterday. No, I did have a coffee yesterday, that's a lie. But I skipped the day before that. So as I mentioned before, not much else going on today. I think we're gonna end off this vlog here because I do wanna try to film, well, I don't know if this is gonna happen because it's like super dark in the apartment right now except for in the kitchen and I can't film this specific fashion style video in the kitchen because that would be a little bit strange. I'm sure it's been done before, but um, I think I wanna wait until we have light in either the living room or our room to do that video. But that will probably come on Wednesday because Tomorrow's a work from home day, and I think it's supposed to be sunny for once, because I feel like we've been getting a lot of rain lately, but tomorrow I'll try to film that video during my lunch. I'll also vlog tomorrow too if it's nice out, and if it's nice, we're probably gonna go shoot too. So we have a lot going on this week already with it only being Monday. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed these few days in my life living in New York City. Don't forget to subscribe. I would absolutely love to have you on my channel, and I will see you all soon.